Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for April 2024. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we will pull a bunch of oracle cards for you to get some other messages as well. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Ooh, my nose just started itching. <laughs> Some of you might be feeling like you have to sneeze. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pull one of the astrology cards because I wanna get kind of a theme of what's going on this month. All right, so we have Libra. We have consideration, fairness, and harmony. That's great. Okay, so with that being said, it seems like if things have been a little chaotic, which they have been energetically speaking, you could find that this month finally has you more focused and feeling a little bit more balanced. Okay, let's see how that plays into what we get for the tarot. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, so your overall energy, we have the Four of Pentacles. All right, so there's something in your life um, that you may have been holding on pretty tightly to. That's typically what the Four of Pentacles is about. It could be saving. It could be just holding on to um, some things around your finances. Maybe you feel like this is a time where you need to kind of pull back. You may be focused in that area of your life. Or if you had felt like things were a little imbalanced, this may be the, the month in which uh, making those decisions in the past are going to pay off. I just heard. So let's keep going and see what else comes up in the current energy. All right. So temperance, magician in reverse, and then we have the three of pentacles. All right. So there's definitely work focus here. We'll talk about that to start. Now, temperance obviously in reverse can be a little bit of impatience totally understand that. Maybe you feel like you've been putting things out there in the universe and trying to manifest some things that you want and they hadn't been coming until now because the three of pentacles, very different meaning obviously from the four of pentacles, is a sense of coming together, things working out, um, work relationships improving. Also some recognition that you may not have gotten. So I feel like you're going to be hearing more and more how much people appreciate what you do. Uh, no doubt there's some significance there. I just feel a lot of appreciation around you. But no doubt you could have had some ups and downs where you may have felt like you were losing patience with people around your work or they were just getting under your skin, something like that. And it could also just be about the advancement or the, the path in which you were going and you feel like you're trying to go in a different direction, but you had to hold on to what you had meaning where you were in your work life up until this point and you're wanting some kind of a change. And this is when things start to figure themselves out. All right, let's look at the near future. So we have the King of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with somebody difficult or narcissistic in either the work, your work life or in partnership. Let's keep going. Okay, I mean, that's twice you've gotten the Libra card and justice. So where you felt there hasn't been justice, especially if this has to do with somebody you may be dealing with romantically or work-wise. So take whichever resonates. There's going to be balance found in this situation. Are you gonna feel justified in the actions that you've taken? Yes, no doubt. Let's keep going and see what else. The 10 of Wands is, or 10 of Swords, I'm sorry, is in reverse. So there may have been some betrayals that you had been feeling, especially if you dealt with somebody that was yeah, just someone who couldn't connect on a really deep level. And maybe there was some feelings of either being betrayed or let down or just frustrated in general by someone who couldn't. There could be some healing around that that's happening or maybe you're just finally starting to say it's things are okay. They could be balancing out in a relationship, but it all also could just be... I'm coming to terms with this situation. Now, let's keep going on what you don't see coming. Wow. All right. So some of you are going to be putting yourselves out there differently. If you're already in a relationship, this may not apply. But there's a sense of 
drawing people in. So you could be feeling yourself this month. There's a lot of confidence. This is how you are being portrayed to the outside world. So people could be drawn into your energy and maybe you you haven't been feeling quite yourself lately and now all of a sudden you are, you're feeling much better, your confidence is boosted and you're just feeling a little fiery, a little feisty. Now the Queen of Cups is in reverse. Other people are, sorry, I hate to say this, but yeah, jealous. There could be some people who don't react well to the fact that you get the kind of attention that you get. You just do. You draw people into your your space, into your energy, and it isn't like you have to put a lot of effort into it. It just kind of happens naturally. So the Page of Wands, don't worry about what other people think. I mean, this is one of those, it's really hard when we know somebody feels either inferior or uncomfortable in our space. And I think for you, this is just seeing things in a new way or having that understanding that there's nothing you can do about how other people feel. It is not your problem. I'll be honest. That's what I feel like I need to say. Now, <clears throat> let's see what Spirit wants you to focus on. All right. Ten of Cups is in reverse and in the Four of Wands. Here's some conflict because we're talking about happiness around family and then the Four of Wands in the upright, there being some success around that. So if there has been conflict in any kind of family situation, I feel like there's going to be resolve and success found. The success being things are going to come together. Again, balance, harmony, happiness, things working themselves out. If there has been some kind of discomfort in your home life and you're hoping things that are going to start figuring themselves out, I do think they will. Uh, especially if there's been any arguing in a partnership or something of that sort, if you obviously live with your partner or married or in a long-term relationship. So things are probably going to get better, but I think it's going to take some work. And I think that's where the focus is being pulled to for this month. Under that, we there. I mean, clearly, we just talked about that there was some conflict of some sort, but there's a lot of kind of lessons, things that you needed to learn um, we have to re-get to know each other, sometimes in our family relationships and in our romantic relationships. And when things are awry or unhappy or imbalanced, obviously it creates stress and drama. But I think there's some valuable lessons from this that not only you, you are learning about these people, but that they're learning about you, which I think is going to be important. All right, so what challenges do we have? Death. So some of you have had a hard time with a lot of the major changes that have happened recently or even going through the death and rebirth process may have been challenging, especially over the last six months. Um, you can look back to the eclipse season back in October and how things have connected between those eclipses and these eclipses. And I feel like there's some transformation that's been a little tough to get through. So that could be the challenge that you're having as you're going through another shift and rebirth. Okay, so I'm going to get some clarification for you. We've got the four pentacles. Let's look at that and see what they're referring to more about what you're holding on to. So the queen of wands, so things that created maybe, and these are deep personal thoughts. These aren't necessarily things that other people see because how people view you is the queen of wands and the upright, but there could have been some insecurities. There could have been some things that happened and maybe you were holding on to those feelings, those things that aren't really true about who you are and your worth and your value. So you're being challenged to see yourself differently. And then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. You could have been dealing with people that were unstable in the past and it threw you off your game. And maybe you questioned yourself because other people's actions towards you or with you, whether that be in relationships or even difficult parent relationships. There could have been some self-worth challenges there, uh, and you may have held on to that for a really long time, but it seems like you're working through it. And again, it's like things start balancing out, and there's a lot of confidence that builds through this month, and then we have judgment. So there's something around a choice that has to be made, and this is for you. It, Spirit does hear you, by the way. They always hear what you're saying. And there's some choice and decision that you have to make that is going to make you feel better. And I think you know what that is for you. I can't possibly say for everybody what that's going to be. 
but there is there's a sense of like being at peace and making a choice that is going to make you feel better about you. This this is very deeply internal things that you feel about you. All right, so let's keep going with the temperance in reverse and the magician. We have the world. Okay, see that impatience here where maybe you've had the same kind of process happening over and over and over again or the same lessons and you feel like you can't get off the hamster wheel. Understandable. But the Three of Pentacles below tells me that something is going to change and there's going to be like a connection in work where there hasn't been one in the past or feeling unappreciated or the same type of thing happening over and over again and you want to make change there. The Eight of Cups is in reverse. For somebody, this is not about walking away from the situation. It's just allowing it to balance itself out. Now, the King of Wands in reverse with Justice, we have the Ace of Wands. If you're asking the question, is something going to restart with someone? It's it's not. I think you're going to lose your passion for it. If you were really fired up or angry or hurt and disappointed, I think you're letting that go. Or you're trying to let that go. And again, this is where you find balance within. This isn't about somebody else. It's about how you feel, even though their actions may have been painful or difficult to deal with or their inability to connect the same way that you can was hurtful. But I think you're going to find, again, this month that you're easing away from how you feel about that situation. Let's keep going. Two of Cups. Sometimes we have a challenge dealing with people seeing us for who we are. And I think what mo is most important for you is being seen for who you truly are. But I think there's some walls that maybe need to come down and maybe a little bit more vulnerability because if you don't allow people to see you at the core of who you are, it can be hard for them to connect. So it may be also you at times that have healthy boundaries, but some walls up. And allowing somebody in that really sees you for who you are is going to be, it's going to take some work, right? We have to let go of old pains and disappointments and then open ourselves up. But there's somebody that's going to be around you. If you're single, you may meet somebody in this month that you really, really, really connect with and click with after getting past whatever this was. All right. So, and that's for single people. Now, the Queen of Wands in the upright and the Queen of Cups. We have the chariot. You're moving beyond relationships where people can't handle being in your energy. If they can't, they can't. This is a lot of, you could be traveling too. I don't say that as often anymore with the chariot card because it just doesn't come up. But there could be some travel that pops up in April for you. I think you're just moving beyond those types of, of situations with people who, you know, can't support you the way that you need to be supported by a true friend. All right, let's keep going. Then we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, if you had been very stressed out, spirits like that's going to relax as well because of this new perspective that you have around these situations, these people, and how they view you or how they feel around you. Um, I don't think you're going to let it stress you out anymore. It may have in the past because it can be really hurtful. You're not understanding why people don't see the genuine side of who you are. Yes, do you have up some walls in your romantic life? Maybe. But in this case, when you're truly open with people and they just can't get past their own insecurities, that's their problem. And I, I think you're working on releasing that and the stress that it may cause at times because you love the people that you're close to. All right, so moving on to what Spirit wants you to focus on with the Ten of Cups and then the Four of Wands. The Five of Wands is coming out in reverse now. So what they're saying is the conflict is going to resolve itself. If there's been a lot of back and forth, this is balanced the same way justice is balanced the same way the Libra card came out. And then we have the high priestess. So they're asking you to really, really trust that what you're feeling is true. And again, I keep seeing doors closing. So if there's certain people in your family, let's say, that you've had a lot of conflict or disagreements with, you really have to pay close attention to what you're you're feeling and seeing. Um, not every door is going to be completely slammed shut. I think some things are going to definitely resolve themselves. And if it's taken some time or there's just been a lot of fighting and pettiness is what I'm hearing, then you're going to figure that out this month. All right. So the death card in reverse in your challenge, we have the four of cups in reverse. It's interesting because not accepting... 
a lot of offers. It's in reverse. So he's looking at the cup in this particular deck. And I feel like a part of you that's transforming is opening up more to, I want to say different types of relationships in your life, different emotional experiences and being just, just more, God, how do I describe this? Like allowing yourself to be open to things that you wouldn't typically be open to. That's the message I wanted to get out. Okay. Now let's get some advice for you. Let's see advice for Aquarius, please. All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The advice is mm, new things, new experiences. Do something different. Spend your money on something that's just for you. Like I just heard. Queen of Wands, especially if it makes you feel good about you. If it makes you feel sexy, male or female, masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter what you are, what gender, because it's going to make you feel really good. So if you've been wondering if you should spend something or do something new, go, do it. You've got permission. The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. If you've been waiting a really long time to do this, they're like, this is being unleashed. You don't have to wait anymore. If you've been holding off, like with the Four of Pentacles, holding on tightly to either your finances or just being cautious and careful, go, go do this for yourself. I'm going to keep saying the same thing. Five of Cups. Some of you, I think, feel like you shouldn't do these things for yourself. I don't know why, because I, I'm not saying that Aquariuses don't do for themselves. You do. But I feel like this is one of those guilt-free things that you need to experience this month. And don't stress over it. Don't stress over it. It will make you happier. It'll make you feel better. Okay, and then the Five of Swords. Again, don't stress. That's what he's doing. He's don't. He's uh, stressing over what he's about to do or something that he's thinking about. Don't stress. Just do it. Okay, let's get the Lover's Oracle. We've had a lot of mixed messages in here. Okay, so we have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Okay, that's emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, remember we were talking about that with these relationships over here and what needs to be worked out and balanced out. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. That's the most important thing is if we can identify why something is triggering us, we can usually figure out how to handle it. So definitely look within and see why and where it's coming from, where that trigger is coming from. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. That to me recently has been about somebody that has crossed over. So if there's been someone specific on your mind that you were missing or thinking about, it, they're trying to get... A message across to you and sending love. All right, let's get the wisdom of the oracle. What do we have? Soulmates. Okay, for some of you, this is a time when you're going to find your soulmate, especially if you're single. I'm not guaranteeing everybody's going to fall into a relationship, but I think all of us really want to meet that person that we can spend our lives with. You could be 41, born on the 4th, the 1st, or the 5th. Just know that if you haven't found it yet, or you thought you did in the past, something new can come around and this is going to be a new soulmate connection or new soulmates in general that you're going to be experiencing. Remember I said open the horizons a little bit and sort of allow something different to come in because each one of those soulmates that you have in this lifetime don't have to be romantic. They can be all different types of souls. But I think you're going to find more of a tribe like vibe with the people that you're connecting with in the future and more so now. They want you to take chances with things. Again, being open. You could be 36, born on the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th. Just do it. And then poise, we have, that's 48. So you could be 48, born on the 4th, the 8th, or the 12th of the month. This is the way I, I feel like you always appear to the outside world. You're always very poised in the way you present yourself. And that could be why there's a lot of people that envy you. And then we have a leg up. You just do. <laughs> and you just do. And I think you know it. I don't think you're conceited about it. I don't think there's anything about you that's massively egoic. It just, you know, you do. So you could be 34, born on the 3rd, the 4th, or the 7th of the month. All right, 
so I'm going to get one last card for you and try to read the message. My glasses are not working well today, so I'm going to do my best. Bear with me. I say this almost every time I try to treat, read these cards. Tree. Read the cards because I need new glasses. Okay, so we have the cicada. Timing. It's going to be important. So you could be 28, born on the 2nd, the 8th, or the 10th of the month. Let's see what we get with the cicada. Almost there. There we go. Cicada sings to remind us to be in tune with our eternal time, internal timing. The song invites us to be aware of the cycles throughout our life and to trust in divine timing, knowing that the universe has heard our request and, hold on, oh, and all will be manifested at the exact right time. Cicada asks you to set clear intentions so that your vibrational request will return love and abundance in perfect timing. Divine timing, trust the process, set clear intentions. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Those were your messages. I'm sending you a ton of love. I hope you have an amazing month. Please hit that like button and leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. And if you would like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, that info is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have a really great month. Take good care.